Legend of Total War here, and this is part two of this particular saving disaster campaign, playing as Sparta on legendary difficulty with a just a really, really bad situation where I think the, the biggest problem here is just way too many enemies and the fact that you just can't peace out. Once you've reached this point here, you've reached the point of no return. And that's what makes it so difficult. But anyway, we just have to just have to suck it up and keep going. So our next stop is going to be Cassintia. What, what I'd like to end this episode with is actually return to Greece. That's what I'd like to end it with. So let's let's try to work towards that. We've got a lot of money in the bank. And we can certainly loot some more along the way. But I don't think we can stay here in Syracuse. Um, we need territory that's not going to be easy to attack. Essentially. So a part of me was actually thinking to, to push it over to Iberia, but Iberia is, uh, I don't know, it, it's big and there's not that many regions in there and we're not going to have Hellenic cult, well actually we will be because Massilia would, doesn't matter, let's, let's just go home, Commander. that'd make for a better story, alright so what I'm going to do here this turn, I'm going to stand here, I'm not going to recruit Spartan Hoplites because we're not going to stay here for long. I'm going to recruit Periokoi, and I'm going to demolish this province. Because that'll give us some money, and whoever gets it is not going to be very happy. Actually, best stay over here. Yeah. Uh, you stay... Yeah, because I want them to reinforce each other. But he's not from that position. So what if you moved up a little bit more, and then you moved to here? Okay, now they're... Hmm. Yeah, they're just not backing each other up, so you're going to have to come back over here. You should still be able to reach there next turn, no problem. And then you recruit Pericoi Hoplites. Now, I believe at Brundisium, yeah, there's another barracks. It's actually being recruited, uh, being built. So, when we get there, we can recruit from there. Actually, I think it's going up to tier 3. Anyway, I reckon what's going to happen here is that, because these guys don't coordinate their attack, they'll be like, overall, they're stronger than us, right? But Massilia will look at their strength and be like, oh, I'm not stronger than this, I'm going to bail. Carthage will look at this and be like, oh, I'm not stronger than this, I'm going to bail. It's not going to look at their allies' strength. And, and uh, Carthage isn't going to come down to here and be like, hey, Massilia, we can beat them together. They, they won't do that. So, let's see if there's a bit of politicking we can do. I hate this politics system, but you've got to pay attention to it. Or else, you will suffer the consequences. As he has in this campaign. Which I can't fix, because his... Secessionist is all over the place. It's, it's just, you know... How can you fix the unfixable? All I can hope to do is get him a location being Greece, from which he can start to rebuild his forces. Well, I've already rebuilt his forces. Where he can start to build a base of operations with which to just take one territory at a time and maybe try to get a peace treaty or two along the way. Another thing as well is if we keep looting and getting loads and loads of cash, we might be able to bribe an enemy out of the war. Problem is, there's so many enemies. Oh, the agent spam. Another reason why you just don't get attached to your characters, just get assassinated too much. It's only wounded, but that's okay. So Massalia left one of their armies behind, and that's perfectly fine with me, but where did the other one go? Up to there. 
Commander. We hunger for battle. Right. I want you to land here. Now, I don't think I want to push this guy away because we, we just want him to die. But let's just see how we go. Advance, Commander. Make haste, men. For the gods! Besieging settlement! To battle! Let's just check in. Yeah, so we'll lose 28% of our forces. I don't think we'll lose even a single unit. And they should all get wiped out if we use aggressive stance. Good. This army here took the biggest beating. But no units were wiped out. And we should loot it because we need cash when we get where we need to go. Okay, so this army... Yeah, he should stay in the settlement there. Okay. At once. So we got tier three barracks waiting for us there. Okay, at Syracuse, just um, put in just the basic stuff because I don't. If we're taxing this province because it's our capital province, we have to keep taxing it. And if slums show up there, then we're gonna run out of food. We, we can't have that happen. Gonna demolish this and I'll leave that there for now. Ready for orders. At your so our next stop is Brundisium. I reckon they'll once again look at their force and be like, that's a nope, and they'll they'll chicken shit run away. Alright. What I wanna do here, I'm gonna merge a periacoy and have them recruit a periacoy, because that's gonna increase their replenishment rate. Ready for orders. Yeah, you need to have strong movement range. And we're going to recruit some more Periakoi. They work well in auto-resolve. I prefer Spartan Hoplites, but, you know, we don't have any available right now. So we can adopt someone. No, not him. He causes a crash. Why isn't this guy married? Ah, oh, because he's wounded. Okay, and you can get married while wounded. Okay, this guy can adapt, adopt any of them. Adopt him. That's our naval commander. Okay. Gotta keep reminding myself that it's my naval commander. So we're not taxing this, so it doesn't come into play. I wouldn't mind looting Rome as well. If we can send a small force up that way. Maybe. It, it depends. Uh, we should also get ourselves another champion. Maybe they can soak up some of the damage from the enemy agents. Like the other guy did before he got assassinated. Alright, let's move on. Now, the thing here is that it might be best if I actually let them win. This province here is worth nothing. And if it revolts, it will create a new faction. So I'm going to let them have it. A new faction that we'd be at war with. And that would actually make the situation worse. Losing this means nothing to us. And they've just accumulated two, two slums. So, good job Carthage. Because one thing is that Carthage won't attack the new faction. They'll probably end up vassalizing them. As I've said before, it is so much better to take on one big enemy, or two big enemies, than lots of little ones. It's because of the way base income works. The more factions you're at war with, the more overall wealth that the enemy has, the more armies that they'll field even if it's the same number of territory that you're fighting against
God, that agent spam is so annoying. that do? Oh, whatever. Oh, it reduced his self-esteem, did you? Oh, Poor Spartan. Alright, so... I kind of just hope that, uh, that they don't take it. Because I want to eliminate them as a faction. I don't care about anyone else. Okay. Um, I don't really mind if Rome takes this. Because then I can just take it back off them. But I need all three of my guys over here. At your command. Ready for battle. Do I though? Let me just look at this. Swifter than hmm. A lot of enemies. Lots and lots of enemies. Alright, let's get over here. Because if we let Rome retake it, just, just for a couple of turns, they'll repair everything. And then we can go loot it again. Where to put my spy? There it is. Um, just need to tell a lot of Massilian forces out this way. But nothing here. And so looting this should be worth a fair bit of money. I don't think we lost any units. Nope, this guy here once again took a fair bit of damage. That's okay. 11,000. That'll pay for our troops for a little while. Okay, and now we've got a decent barracks here with which we can draw some more troops from. So take him off, put him in there instead. You'll get better replenishment. I think we've, yeah, we've got to have the campaign movement range. It's so important. Is that three full stacks? It is. I'm going to recruit more? No? No, well, what, hang on. What's going on in Apollonia? All right, let's recruit a fleet. And let's actually make our way over here. Fuck Italy, this is not the place to be right now. Where's our other dude? We're looking for... Ah, yes, that's it. Making for port. Whatever. Don't think I need him to recruit. You know what, I will recruit another army as well. Because if nothing else, if any units get wiped out, he can he can essentially give them reinforcements. Plus, we shouldn't send all of our forces over here if we're going to lose Cosentia. We don't want Rome returning. So someone's going to have to come down here next turn. Maybe him, because he's damaged and that's not going to be difficult for him. Just to put them back in their place. Maybe not even next turn, but the turn after. Because, well, well, we'll see how we go. Alright. Because we've got enough money to last us quite a few turns, but not forever. Alright, we're good. Moving on. Damn it, that was the worst case scenario. I didn't want Epirus taking the city. Because if they didn't take it, we could have eliminated them. There's only got three regions in the other area, and I'm not coming back this way. Oh, 
Oh well, so we don't eliminate them. It's fine. I mean, they've got a little force dedicated over there. At least that means that their home territory is going to be easy to take. Still, we can't let Rome come back. I guess maybe the forces that we send down... <sighs> Shit, I don't know. We could delay the invasion. Because we don't know what else has got out that way. Oh my god, fuck off! Stop trying to assassinate my guys. So a bunch of women died. Let me see. Do they need to be remarried? So that used up most of his influence to do that. Um, so their husbands are now standing out over here. Could adopt them, but we got to be careful because it could cause a crash. How's the politics situation? It's totally fine. I don't know how to manage the politics in this. Now, have they repaired anything here? Not yet. They might repair it next turn. They haven't started recruiting anything yet either. Um, got 57,000 to work with. They've got an army in the garrison there, but we don't have any intel out this way. Okay, there's some Massilian forces. Looks like they're just waiting for Brundisium to get... I don't know. At your command. Yeah, no, that's right. We hunger for battle. Alright, if I attack Cassentia... Just trying to think. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to send you down here. You're going to attack this. And you're going to loot it. And you're going to lock looting it. Good. It's going to be another revolt, but that's fine. The buildings are fine. Okay, then we're going to send two armies over here to take on this. And you're going to stay behind here just for a short time and recruit some more Spartan hoplites. Yeah, I am going to loot it. Okay. Cool. Now we have no idea what's out here. Yeah, just have no idea. So it's a bit of a risk. Could send this guy over here to go and check. It's too late now to, you know, if, if the situation's bad, then it's bad. Which, there's nothing there. There might be something at Pella, but we, we seem to be okay. I don't think I need you anymore. You were just there to make that initial attack, that's all. You know what? Our finances aren't that bad. Let's recruit another army. We hunger for battle. More Spartan hoplites. Sure, we got a big deficit, but it's okay. 
So over here, I don't want this building, but leave everything else. That's all fine. Um, over here, they won't be able to reach us this end. No, nobody can reach Brundisium, which is why I didn't need to feel, feel the need to leave it defended. But I reckon if this guy here, let me just check. Now we can't reach it. If he starts making his way up here to try and defend this, then we'll come down here and retake Syracuse. Because I, I want to get rid of Epirus. It's a small that's but manageable task that we can do. At your command. Now our armies aren't that expensive. How many armies can we actually recruit? Uh, six. If they loot everywhere that they capture, we we could recruit six full stacks if we absolutely have to. But eventually you're going to be like, well, we need to consolidate now. But anyway, let's just keep building up, keep capturing more territory, keep looting, gonna have to, until we can finally find a place to settle down, which I'm hoping will be Hellas, hoping it'll be Greece. Alright. Yeah, max taxes. And let's move on. We've also got some technology coming in eight turns, which will help things a little bit, reduce the upkeep costs and give us extra recruit slots. So, Roman Rebellion there, that's fine. More experience for, for them. And a little bit of extra cash, so that helps. Someone might need to go back over there to help defend Brundisium. Because they're... The vultures are swooping in. They're looking for a carcass there. Another thing is that we could let them take it and then take it back off them because it's easier that way. Plus we could get a chance to loot the settlement again. Maybe I should let them take Brundisium. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to let them take it. Wait, 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 wait. Shit, they can actually reach this settlement as well. But they're most likely going to go for whatever the target they feel like is going to be easiest. And also, the Massalian armies aren't quite as good as ours. But like, if you ever look at it, like, these guys here are good in, in order resolve, but they're not. Even if they've got a larger army, we've got Cosentia. Oh, shit. Don't tell me I have to hire mercenaries to fill up the fucking gaps again. So yeah, they're doing sort of exactly what I expected them to do. Well, if we just don't stay within Cosentia's range, just stay there. So what if they capture it? I guess we'll see. I'll get him to recruit Periacoy in the meantime. Just in case. Just in case. Alright. Uh, I'm going to have to get that fleet guy back. Just in case we need to launch a naval assault. Because they might split their forces up as well. Take both settlements. Which would be stupid if they did. Now. Do um, you stay here. Keep recruiting. Who's the least damage of these two? Well, why don't we transfer all the damaged units into one force? And all the undamaged units into another, and send the undamaged units forward. Ready for orders. Ready for battle. Again, we don't know what's there, so... We'll have to capture it first and then ask questions later. Don't intend to hold the city, it's just about smashing Epirus down. Crap. Okay, well there's only force here. What else have they got? 
That's all. It's just, it's just that one there, and it looks like it's full of garbage. Ready for Still, I'm gonna have to send... Ready for I'm gonna... Gonna have to basically threaten them not to attack. Sort of. So, come over here. You stay in the settlement. And you stay there. Those guys should still be able to make it to Brundisium next turn, if they absolutely have to. This is not ideal, but I didn't know they would be there. Yeah, so demolish it to the ground and just don't tax it. Could also keep going and sack these settlements. That could make a fair bit of cash for us and keep them weakened. Alright, there's going to be a revolt. Whatever, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's move on. How's this looking? Yeah, moving on. We hunger for battle. Good, reduce our upkeep costs. Definitely want that replenishment rate, and I think we need to reduce them upkeep costs. Spartan hoplites barely costing anything in this army now. Let's have a look in diplomacy and see if we can just do anything. So, these guys here, I would really like it if we weren't at war with Welcome. them. The day is already old, and there is much to do, so if you have words... It's not speak. possible to get a peace with them. Now, what about Galatia? I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please, don't bother. Talk of me. It is possible to get out of this war. Because they're very strong, and if we're going to come over here, they could potentially be a concern. It's a lot of money to spend, but if we just loot a couple of settlements, we can get that money. And if they leave us alone... Hell, they're at war with Carthage, and we're at war with Carthage, so maybe this could work. What? Peace? When your skulls are as yet unstacked, and your women have yet to kill themselves in despair? We have no... No other mutual enemies, so, or allies. So, so hang on, hang on. Um, they're allied to Pergamon. I'm friends with Pergamon, so... That should be helping things with them. Yeah, treaties with Pergamon. I hate to give them so much money. I really hate to. But if we are going... Look, they don't hate us anymore. Maybe we can even get a trade agreement with them. to you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. Okay, forget about that. What about a non-aggression pact? So, they don't like the fact that we're at war with Samaria. Well, we just have to leave that be for now. Let's just hope that they actually stay true to that peace treaty. Alright, that used up a lot of our cash. So, probably going to have to loot some cities to, to make up for that. Forgot to move the spy, but it's alright. Didn't need him this turn. So, it looks like Cassentia is going to be taken by the rebel forces. Oh, good. Or maybe not. Whatever the case is, no recruitment, but that that's okay. You can always just hire cheap mercenaries to fill up the gaps. Alright, cool. 
So they've they've sacrificed that army there. That's good. <laughs> no agent spam to deal with this turn, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Don't care about his problems anyway. So, we could, like I said, we could loot this, but we have no idea what's going on out here. This guy here is recruiting some more force, which is good. Keep that coming. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that negative balance. It's a good life. We hunger for battle. I am the champion on the road. I could hit them here at Nevisos. Honestly, if I if I took Delminium, this is all just looting. I don't expect to hold it. If I took the settlement here, and then they took Epidamnos, that would be good for me. Ooh, I think we can win that. We take this settlement. We hunger for battle. March. Yeah, easy. We just have to hope there's no counter-attack coming. Good, no units wiped out. Ugh, I was hoping for more money than that. Ready for orders. Commander, we hunger for Bit of damage. At once. Uh, but of course, demolishing the settlement will make us a fair bit. But we have to start making our way back to Apollonia. We can make our way over to Syracuse, but at the same time, we also need to make sure that you know, they're punished. Ready for battle. On the move. For glory and honor. Forces are fine. We can loot that for a tiny amount of cash. Do it. But I reckon... Wait, did they repair everything? Let me just see. They didn't check. They must have repaired it or else these settlements would have just been... Freaking wiped out by now. At your command. Alright. Okay, the Massilian forces are too far away now to possibly launch a counter-attack. I'm going to bring you back down to here. Recruit some more Spartan Hoplites. I don't want them taking... Maybe I'll just recruit Periaco instead. Ready for battle. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Because, yeah, they might, they might capture Brundisium, which is fine. Then we just go recapture it. And that's a very valuable city to, to loot. Let's see if we can get peace with them. Greetings. Stand there, mute as though with the tongue. No. no, they're not ready for it. So looking at Glacier, they're not happy with what we did against Samaria. The guards will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. You're good. I reckon they will declare war on us again. Oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, my hope here is that they come down here, capture Epidemnos. We'll get a bit of replenishment here. I didn't tell what we should do. All of the... Hang on, I don't know which is which. All the damage units should be in this army here. At your command. And all the undamaged ones. 
in the other army. Because he'll get less replenishment than him. Especially considering he's got the uh, extra ape replenishment rate. We'll just get a lot more troops back faster. He's in pretty bad shape, but he, he shouldn't die. Generals do tend to take a lot of damage in order resolve. Alright, minus 3,000 a turn. It's, it's bad, but you know it could be worse. Need that replenishment. Alright, also let's have a bit of a, a scout down this way. Okay, Epirus doesn't have much strength there. Because I did also want to take Syracuse, which is what we want to do next turn, I suppose. Just prevent prevent uh, Epirus from, from building up. Alright, moving on. God damn, we got... Freaking four arm well it's not four full stacks, we got four armies. No, five, sorry. Our spirits have noticed that oh, I will try I don't to stall give wounds. you any money. Can you help with this small matter? Oh I've given you enough. Okay, it doesn't look like they're going to take it. Okay, I'm actually going to let them win here. No, I'm not actually. Because it just got me thinking, like, if you let them win, they take it, then we take it straight back. But if the Romans take it, they're not going to repair it. But the Romans aren't going to take it. I saw what the garrison's like, so... Oh, God, minus 5,000. Slave revolt in Macedonia. Where? Oh, slave revolt imminent. Okay, that, that's fine. Alright, so we've... Oh, I didn't demolish this shit. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let's uh, head home. Next stop. Next stop, maybe Pella, maybe. Alright, what do you think about this? Because we can fill up our ranks with mercenaries if we need to. But like I said, I really wanted to eliminate them. We're probably going to lose Brundisium. Oh, I can't actually reach it anyway. Oh, I thought he'd be able to reach this turn. They might stay revolting one more turn. We don't have a lot of turns worth of wiggle room here. Another thing I could do is send him over here just to stand in the settlements. I don't think I can justify recruiting anymore right now. No one else is going to... Yeah, you, you go and sail over there. And you force march to here. Don't think we're going to need this now. Ok, 
Okay, I'm not gonna sit in Cassentia. Stand down here. I want you to recruit some more Periacoi. I don't think anyone's gonna capture the settlement, but we'll see. Goodness, minus 5,000 a turn. I don't usually run my economy this badly into the ground. We have to loot something immediately. Okay, all of this seems fine. You could use a, a husband. There you go. All good. All good. Ugh. If we loot Pella, that should make us a hell of a lot of cash. Hopefully they'll bring their army over here to Epidamnos. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, no, I don't care. It's actually good because it wipes out all of the um, the public order problems. Minus 100. Or plus 100 public order straight away. Alright, so they're coming back to retake it and I'm totally fine with that. Oh shit, I tell you what I'm not fine with. Rebellion coming over here with starting a new faction. Not fine with that at all. <laughs> oh shit. Stupid public order. God damn it. Uh, I wouldn't be able to win in the siege situation even if I fought it manually. Just having a look. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot because I really don't want this to occur. And we do have exceptional defenses here. And if we can hold this settlement for the one turn, we're going to get a lot of money, so this is actually worth trying. We're at number two to one, but we do have walls. But the problem is the walls aren't oh, shit. All right, where are they coming from? Man, I haven't fought a room two battle in a long time, but I fight them when I need to. Cause like these pikemen here could do a lot for us. They've only got one ladder. Still, we're not really going to be able to do much about that. Alright, I think actually forgetting about the walls to begin with and standing here. This is this is where we stand. Because this tower will be able to keep shooting and will be able to utilize the choke point. Standing here is going to be to their advantage. What's this? Slave javelin men. Alright, what I might do? I might put slingers on the wall here. Defensive position! So they can shoot at me, but miss. Because they'll be pretty accurate here. The problem here, though, is that we've got so few troops, it's going to be hard to hold the bloody line. Men, form phalanx. Ugh, they're not going to be able to form a phalanx. They don't have any freaking men. Got a few towers here and there. These, these guys, I don't know if they're going to be able to shoot. Might just be within range there. I also put guys on the towers here, but they're facing the wrong bloody way. Okay, hang on. Put one there. That's not going to help. Because they're going to come through here, most likely. 
And there'll be some towers, but honestly, the t unless they've patched it recently, which I don't think they have, towers are shit. These guys here are Illyrian Hoplites. Okay. Right. Don't fire at will. You need to make sure you, every single shot counts. We need to be aiming for the slave javelin men, I think. Or maybe the cavalry. Whatever their unarmored targets are. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm allergic to these fucking battles. <laughs> okay. So, are you shooting? Bit of damage done. Nothing major. Not bad, actually. It says here that that's not within their firing range, but it looks like they, they are hitting it. Yeah, shouldn't those Illyrian hoplites make a big difference there? I wish I could tell this to shoot at the tower. At the, I'm sorry, at the archers. Actually, stop. Shoot at the cavalry. That'll probably be, probably be more valuable. Then again, we got a lot of spears. So yeah, maybe shoot the, the slave javelin men. Once these guys start getting up on the walls, we need to get off the walls and get back there. Preferably before they open the gates. Either that actually might, what might actually be better is if we stay on the walls but run them around over here. Maybe. So yeah, they're going to be pretty inaccurate against that. That was the whole point. If they're going to use up their ammunition, shoot something that's not worth a whole lot to me. We haven't killed any of their Illyrian Hoplites, and those are the ones that are going to be the problems. That one there could probably take out my entire army, if we're not careful. Maybe try and shoot the Illyrian Hoplites now. It's not going to do much damage, but... It'll start doing a little bit. It's better than nothing. I mean, these guys here, they're going to run out of ammunition fairly soon. Alright, let's start running away. This way, we could shoot them as they come inside. That was actually doing a really good job here. Right, they've been capped away from us, but the Illyrian levies have been destroyed. Yeah, I've always suspected that basically fighting smaller scale sieges. Like, if you're fighting it on small unit scale, so much easier than on huge unit scale. Which is essentially what we're doing right now, small unit scale. The enemy oh, shit, we're gonna get out of here. So they've lost seven men. Okay. So long as we still have a fair bit of ammo, what are they gonna do here? Get shot by our tower? Because I'm fine with that. And we'll see how well we can fight against them. 
This is only basic cavalry. Right, pikes down. That's it. them around completely. Looks like one of their other units has run away. Alright, that's shattered. Good. So now we just need to deal with these Illyrian hoplites. The men are wavering. That's okay. Well, we've got the tower here to help us out as well. Um... You start coming down off the wall because it doesn't look like they're interested in chasing you. And yeah, okay, the tower's doing a fair bit of damage to them. More than I was expecting. Hmm. They're actually getting kind of wrecked. Okay. First thing, let's sacrifice this guy over here just to slow them down. Keep them bogged down in the fight just to let the tower sh get as many shots in as possible. That's actually a really bad place to be fighting. Pull back over here. Where'd the other one go? That's it. Just have them fight one at a time, and let the towers do as much damage as possible. Oh, Scorpion! It's Tier 4 Settlement, of course! I'm not used to playing this late in the campaign. That's why he's doing so much damage. Duh. I'm used to bloody finishing the game by like turn 50. I never get to see Scorpion Towers in action. Funny thing is, is I've actually set them for destruction. Good. And it all got destroyed. We wouldn't be able to defend it now, and that's fine. So these slaves, they they take attrition and they're sitting there raiding, whatever. Alright. So Massilia's coming in here. We'll probably have to send another army over here to help defend against this. And we, we certainly gained a fair bit of money by doing that. At your command. This we needs to stop. Commander, ready for battle. For death and honor. Shit, March. how are we gonna get back over there? At your command. Well, as I said over here, we we really do need to make this attack. I want, I want, uh, I want them dead. Jeez, I could win with just one army. But still, our, our army will get wrecked if we do that, so... Bring in the other one. And that way it's an easy win. And thankfully we don't have to deal with Galicia with this as well. I'm totally fine if they want to take it afterwards. Just, you know, don't declare war on me, please. That won't even pay for our troops for the turn, but... Mitigates it a little bit. Now we have to get back there, but we have to stay close by here. Alright, looking at Syracuse, we can just demolish the whole damn thing. They've got the uh, barrack. Yeah, no, no more Spartan hoplites. Okay, we are. We, uh, 
I've spent too much. So what are we going to do about this? Looking at the settlement itself, a decent amount of garrison, plus we've got Spartan Hoplites here, and it's a tier 4 settlement. If they launch the attack, they won't stand a chance. What's their army's garbage? Ready for battle. wonder if our force could actually beat them. Jesus. I, uh, okay. I'll take that. It's okay, we can replace them here. Yeah, that'll pay for them. Yeah, finish the damn job. Because I want that enemy general dead. Should have gone with the other one, actually. Another Spartan Hoplite gone, but I better pay for it with that loot money. Ready for battle. Shit. Um, force march back here. We need to get recovery. I don't think they'll launch the attack next turn. But damn. Spartan Hoplites are good in melee. Um, auto resolve. If I had fought that battle manually, I would definitely would have lost. Advance. Ready for all. All right, so that's the slaves gone for now. We've got enough money for a few turns. Still, I don't think they'd be able to make it from there. We're in okay shape here. See, I need to be getting over to Tapella and looting that. Apollonia is it's still going to revolt, but not this turn. And these guys need to start making their way back. Alright, I need you to recruit. Once we're more secure in Greece, we could always just disband this army, but for the time being, I need it. Alright, so where are we going to go now? So, they're going to capture Ap Epidemnos and Delminium. And then the next place they're going to go after that is probably Apollonia, which will revolt at the same time. Alright, so I'm going to stand... Hang on. How far can this guy move? You move just as far. Come over here. We're going to make preparations to attack Pella. Because if his forces came from Nevisos to over there, that means they're not going to be able to counterattack Pella. Can't see. Where to put my spy? Over here. Okay. Everything seems fine out here for the time being. Oh, you know what I should have done? At your command. Ready for orders. This. Commander, we hunger for battle. At your command. Ready for get to it, men. Oh, right, yeah, because he's also recruiting. That's fine. That extra recruiting will provide extra replenishment as well. It's fine. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to check something. I forgot what it was. What regions am I taxing and what ones aren't I? I'm not taxing Illyria. Yeah, that makes sense. Otherwise, we'll, we'll hemorrhage food. Uh, Macedonia. There's hardly any money coming from here. If I don't tax it, it'll help it out a little bit. It's not going to make any difference. The rebellion's definitely going to happen if we if we loot um, the other settlement. Yeah. 
So yeah, now that we've taken this, we need to leave. Hope hopefully Epirus will just bugger off, get back over somewhere else. And somebody else goes and grabs this. I'm not making use of this. Maybe I should just demolish it. No, when we decide that once and for all we're going to leave, that's when we demolish it. Not yet. Everything seems fine here. Nothing I really need to do. Good, everyone's married. That's all I need. From there, the point. Investing too much into them because they die of old age. Oh, that's right. I was going to check my Imperium level. So, uh, we can put that in Edict, but no more Dignitaries yet, because I'd like to reduce upkeep costs on my armies. Alright, that's all we can do. We've got enough money to get through the end turn. Let's do it. I reckon we'll make at least 10 grand by looting Pella, which will you know, help pay for our troops. So Samaria is bringing in a lot of troops to to retake the city, and now they have to deal with the rebellion. It's fine; that wasn't worth anything to me. And then they're going to take okay. This actually could be a problem because they might actually take Apollonia. Which means no replenishment for me, because the other army will still be able to move. No. Okay, good. Still, that means he's at Navasos. Good. Just fuck off. Cool. Got through that end turn. So they're getting ready to attack Cosentia or Brundisium. Uh, if they attack Brundisium, we've got Ballista Towers. And I don't want to fight the battles manually, though. Um, over here, I don't really care about this region. I just don't want Epirus to have it. Are we at war with them as well? No. So hopefully they come over here and take this. Commander. They'll, pro they'll probably more, be more likely to attack Cassentia than anything else. At your command, we hunger for battle. So I think we'll stand here. Commander. Because we should be able to uh, to reach Cassentia next turn. And if we get too close, then they'll just make the attack. So we'll go into ambush stance here. And if we stay in this region... Oh, I can't with him. If I stay in this region, then we're probably going to get replenishment. Whereas in here, we probably won't. Minus 5,000 a turn. Ugh. We're really pushing it now. Pushing our finances to the absolute limits. I reckon the other army will, will give us an easy win here. Make haste. Yep, easy win. It's got to be looted. Okay, what's the damage? We lost 25% of our strength. It's not that much. Alright, looting it. Ah, it's not as much as I thought I'd get. Could subjugate them. Nah. They'll just, they'll just break away immediately. It's like... I've done that before where I've... I've Literally hit subjugate, and during the end turn, they have turned against me. Didn't even last a turn. Vassals and this, not worth getting. So, we've got this over here. I don't know, sacrifice of white sheep, I don't know. Commander, we hunger for battle. Now, we could come down here and capture this. 
But, okay, it's only a level 3 settlement. And if we... there's I don't think Samaria's got any force there. But at the same time... Um, we need to replace... Like, that other army could come down here. Let me just double check. Yeah. Could reach us. And he needs to stay there. You stay here in encamp stance. Anyway, we got enough money to get us through the turn. <laughs> so we're just going turn to turn here. And we could get our barracks from here. Yeah, we'll probably need that. Let me just see here. We need the barracks there just, just to provide the extra garrison. I don't need this barracks, so we're just providing garrison. Get rid of this. Keep that there. So yeah, there'll be a revolt. I reckon it'll happen here, but I think they'll come down here and take it. We could come back over this way and retake it just to keep smashing their ass. We've got to make sure that these guys recover each turn. I don't know if I could justify recruiting any more units. Need to know what's around here. So yeah, gotta get these guys over here. I've done what I wanted to do. As long as Epirus doesn't take this, I've done what I wanted to do. Alright, shall we move on to the next turn? I think we're good. Let's move on. Okay, so Macedonia wants to come back, but they're they're easy to beat. Tiny, tiny rebellion. So yeah, the big hope here is that they do not attack Brundisium. Whilst I do think I could win, I just I just don't want to fight that battle manually because it'll take a better part of 40 fucking minutes. When you're predictable, you're predictable. Um, it's just, yeah. I hope they only occupy it, they don't raise it to the ground. It doesn't matter if they do, but you know, it's a good settlement. But they just occupied it. Good. I'm happy they've they've decided to attack this. I'm totally fine with this as well. I just didn't want Epirus to have it, but this does mean that I don't get any replenishment in the region. Because this will mean that Epirus has no territory left and that they will eventually just starve to death. Uh, they've made it easy for me because now I can take them up one at a time. How's our money? Whoa! Because we lost those settlements, but it's okay. The last remnants of them. We could come back here and loot this, but like I said, I don't, I don't care about that settlement. It was just... Shit, actually, I can't get my other army over here. Oh, yes, I can. Doesn't use up that much movement. March. We hunger for the gods. Ready for battle. At once. Ready for order. Good. Good. That's only 12% casualties. Yeah. And their entire force gone. Thanks for the money. Definitely need it. Need like four of those kind of victories though. Commander, we hunger for battle. No one will escape. Besieging the settlement. Ready for make. No one will escape. Oh, it looks like this one here lost a unit. It's okay. We'll be able to recruit a new one. It's 
It's all good. Looted again. They didn't repair it though. I don't care. We're not staying here much longer. Ready for battle. We hunger for battle. The other army is not in as good shape. To your duties, men. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. We need good fighters. We hunger for battle. Okay, everything's starting to come together. <laughs> Som somewhat, despite our massive deficit, it is starting to come together. All right. Um, so I reckon if we do come over here and attack this, uh, could you give me some intel on this area here? Okay, he could, he can't reach here in a single turn. Okay, so if we attack this and defeat them, then that's that's the end of that. But we got to get there first. For the gods! Shit, I can't justify going after that Macedonian force. We won't have enough movement otherwise. We might only just barely make it. If Macedon retakes Pella, you know, it sucks, but whatever happens. Actually, if I just send you, you might be able to force March to get here. I don't want them coming back. I don't care if, if Samaria takes it, but I don't want I don't want them coming back. Tell me you can make it. Okay, thank fuck, that was close. I didn't even need him, but we'll bring him in, otherwise we're going to take lots of damage. Excellent. Good. Another Sumerian army dead. That's two in total. And they go that the end of Epirus. And they repaired all of the buildings for us. Oh, thank you. For, oh, hang on. Should I loot this or not? There's already a lot of slaves here. Because it's only worth 3,000. Eh, every day I'm a loot. Finding shelter. Good. That's what I wanted. One enemy down. So, damage to the armies is pretty bad, but... At your command. Well, this one specifically. No units were wiped out, though. He needs more replenishment rate. More, more, um... Campaign movement range would be good. Alright, go with that. Okay. Could have sent them over here to assist if I absolutely needed to as well. But now, but now they need to worry about this. So we're at minus 4,700. We got a decent amount of income, or well, this amount of loot from this turn. There'll be another revolt. It could happen at Pella. If it does, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Jesus, five armies with just like no economy. Just a loot economy. I can't let Rome return. Let me just have a quick look over here. That there's no counterattack coming. 16, 12. Let me just see if my guys can actually win this. Good. Let's just get rid of this rebellion. And that's helped us to make a little bit more cash. So glad Epirus is dead. That's that's a big bonus for us. There won't be another revolt this turn. Um, I'm going to cancel this. Because it's time. It's time to demolish this to the ground. Which actually makes me think, why did I get rid of the rebellion? <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's time to get rid of this. 
We're not stick I'm not sticking around here any longer. Yeah, I'm not sticking around any longer. If we want to recruit, we can do so in Greece. Actually, if I really want to make some money, just sending it one of my armies, the Periakoi army. Because we need to reduce our upkeep costs, right? If we just put all the Periakoi into this force here, and then just loot our way to Rome. But there's, there's forces there. So that'd be up to them if we want to do that. <laughs> do we want to stay here just a little bit longer, just to get a tiny bit of extra cash? Because we don't have a lot. Alright. Alright, just... My god. We're staying here just a tiny bit longer. We hunger for battle. Come, fight with us. Ready for orders. Commander. Because, yeah, that'll have to be defeated. But, yeah, if I can loot Rome, that'd be great. And also, more experience for these armies, the better. Alright, uh, so I'm hoping that they do come down here and attack Pella. They won't be able to bother us. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. And I hope the rebellion happens here. I can't stop it from occurring. If I exempt it from taxation, no, I won't stop it. That's fine. Where's my agent? Oh, yeah, he's over there. Okay him for the turn just because why not and let's check politics and then move on we've almost made it back to sparta we're almost there just leaving a trail of destruction between between here and sparta though Why are they here? We're not at war with them. Go away. So Macedon might return. Could be in our best interest to go and attack Epidamnos there, just to get rid of that army. So they're chicken shitting out of there. Really gotta wonder what, what Galatia is doing here. I bet they disbanded one of my units there. Alright, well, we didn't lose Pella. So we're not at war with them yet. Let me, let me talk to them in diplomacy. I don't... They're at plus seven, but they're unreliable and expansionist. Let me we just see what we can do. To listen to your offers, but do not wrap them in lies. The spirits know truth. What do I gotta do to make you? Okay, I have to pay a fair bit. What if we threw it in as a trade agreement as well? They absolutely don't want trade. It's not worth that much to us anyway. Much better off to get a non-aggression pact. Which, we can't trust them with it. But goddammit, if they attacked me right now, I just... I, this just wouldn't be worth it. This is now they like us, so maybe they might even accept a trade agreement soon. What about a defensive I alliance? You, yeah. I... Man, if they, if they actually attacked us, despite us having... Common enemies and common friends. Just fucking diplomacy in this game. I shouldn't have even put it in the top five. If they do that. Um, but still, that's common in Total War games. So, Epidemnos or Pella? Which is it going to be? We can make it to Neapolis. And they straight up bitched out, didn't they? Where the fuck did they go? Looting this settlement here. 
yeah, we'd, we'd make enough money to get us through the next few turns to help pay for what we just paid for. Yeah, I did lose another unit. Easy win. I will take the other army up there, though, just in case. Got to keep them protected. Plus, it's good for their experience. Oh, yeah, that pays for the, for the army for the turn. And then next turn when we sack Rome. Also, another thing is that we can demolish the damn settlement now. Which will make us a little bit of extra cash. And when whoever gets it back, they're going to have to rebuild it. Yeah, you stay there. Keep Brundisium safe. I don't care if Cassintia rate... Uh, whatever. Where did my... Oh, that's where he is. Yeah. Are they still at Nevisos? No, they're not. Okay. Well, where did they go? It's only going to be a, a short time before they decide to make the attack. But they might not do it next turn. So we've got to keep smashing their armies. Or else they're just going to come straight back down here. So looking at Epidemnos, looting this is not going to be worth much. It's more about just killing that army. Oh, that's right, they do actually like Samaria, don't they? So one of my armies is worth a hell of a lot more than one of theirs, and that's that's only the Periakoi one. That's not even including the Spartan force. So we're going to lose 14% of our force there. Which, the Spartans are the ones that take all the damn damage. That's why you only want to spam one unit type. Because the best units always take the damage. And we'll loot that, because I don't expect to hold it. How's Delminium coming along? Yeah, I'm not going to loot that. We just, my, my goal is to get down south. We just need to make sure these guys don't bother me while I'm doing that. We can tax it this turn, but just don't take it the, tax it the next one. Um, and over here, I think what I'll do is... Well, actually, if they attack, these guys are my friends. They'll actually help us out. But I'll create a general here. Just having one general... Stand in the city. Like, those are Spartan Hoplites. They'll, they'll do a really good job in order resolve. Or manually resolve, whichever. Because like I said, I'd rather they don't return. Just wondering if I should recruit. Probably not. Only minus 3,400 this turn. That'll make us a good amount of cash. Oh yeah. Looting room. Okay, I'm going to smash up Cassentia now. No, no, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it just a little bit longer. I'm not done yet. Ready for battle. Campaign movement range is certainly good, but right now, upkeep is just a problem. Ready for orders. Definitely needs that replenishment. Okay, well that's looking good. How's our Imperium? Okay, and characters, any new marriages or anything that needs to be done? No, that all looks secure. That's secure as well. Cool, let's move on to the next one. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's still a giant mess, but it's a lot better shape than it was at the start. Our enemies are significantly weaker, and fewer for that matter. And our ally uh, and ourselves are a lot stronger, even if our finances are really volatile. So it looks like they want to make the attack at Pella. Oh shit. 
Oh, they're just besieged. Okay. I'm fine with them taking it. Oh, stop disbanding my units! Especially if they're Spartan units. Don't disband them. I need them. Because the thing here is that if they take Pella, right? Then I can just take it straight back off them. Take it with my blessing. And then they have to deal with the rebellion. Because I just don't want new factions arising. Good, so that finally got done. Which helps us with our upkeeps a little bit. That takes a long time. But reducing the upkeep by additional 6% is good. Yeah, I think that's what you need. What are they doing out here anyway? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like they're going to go and hunt Carthage. They don't like us as much anymore because of... What did we do? We've got treaties with them. Maybe you just need to get to 25. The gods will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. I don't want to. I don't want to pay them that much. For th to give them military access in our lands. Okay. So, yeah, they disbanded one of our units. But it's okay. Just need to make sure there's not going to be a counterattack. There won't be. Alright, who wants to make this attack? How about you do it? I only need the one army, but we're bringing both in. Like Fight together, die together, get the fuck out of here together. Yeah. Eh, not as much as I was hoping for, but enough to get through the, the next few turns. We're not hanging around here any longer. Soldiering. Just get Periacoit. Oh, shit. Running low on storage. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um, crap. This game, fuck. When I record this damn game, it takes up so much storage space. Uh, just hang on. Let me, let me just see what I can do here. I can clear up some stuff real quick. Alright. Um... If I transfer that file, just sorry guys, I can't actually pause recording using OBS. If I transfer this over here, and then delete it, that'll free up five gigs. <laughs> At least it gives me a bloody warning. Come on, come on, come on. I know it's all black screen, it's because I turned off my monitor on OBS. And then if I delete that file, Cool, that should give me five extra gigabytes, which should be about an hour of recording. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why, but Rome 2 just like eats up hard drive space. Problem is, is I, I like, when I record, I put my recording onto the SSD. But all my Total War games need to be on my SSD. So I've only got about 30 gigs free on my SSD. And when I record a long video of Rome Total War, Rome 2, it just like eats the whole fucking thing up. Other games don't do that. It's like 2, 3 gigabytes. But Rome 2 is like, yeah, look at this file, it's 40 gigs. Why? Why is it 40 gigs? God damn it. Okay. Just, just put something in there to stop slums from... Oh, who cares if slums occur? Just don't tax it. Yeah, we're not going to get the money from that anyway. Ready for battle. For death and honor. Yeah! 
No, I just um, realized something. They're, they're getting the fuck out of here later. Why am I recruiting more Periacoy? They should be recruiting Spartan Hoplites. Alright. Demolish this, because Romans could show up here. Um, although I hope they don't. But it's, it's time for our, our bailout. We're not recruiting... It's, yeah, it's time to bail. We're going to make our way down here. Cap this. Do this, and then we can end the episode there. So we can leave a text this turn. So that's going to give us a, a. Actually, you know what? Just just one more turn with this. Just one more turn, because we do make a decent amount of money from it. We'll we'll abandon it next turn. All right, let's move on. I'm not giving you any money. Like, I'm bleeding money out of my ears here. Just stop. You've already fleeced me for like, what, 40 grand? That's enough. Absolutely do not want the Romans to return. So, let them here. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. So now they need to deal with the rebels, because I won't be able to get back to Pella just yet. I hope they don't raise the settlement. They didn't. Good. Occupy it. Um, they'll have to deal with the Macedonian Rebellion. What happened here? Uh, totally fine with this happening as well, because there's nothing going on here, and we'll be straight back here next turn. So this was silly on there. Unless they raise the settlement to the ground, this is silly for them to do this. They didn't. Okay, cool. They might even repair everything. If they do, when we come back here, I think just occupying it. No more looting. I don't know. It depends on what my finances are going to be like, because we did just lose a fair bit of t uh, territory there. The love of gold can stir evil in men. Give us your gold. Avoid. One fewer enemies? Good. Makes us not look quite as freaking weak. Still look really weak when you're at war with that many mega powers. Okay, so. I reckon some of our generals are going to die of old age soon. Because, like, they're starting to get a bit on the old side. Did let's have a look here. No one important died. So yeah, like I said, we we demolished this, which gives us nothing. Gave us a lot of money to work with, but we're at minus five thousand now. We could push the attack onto Araminum, but I don't want to do that. I want to let them come here and take this. Now, let's push that out of the way. It's tempting to... Oh my god, I can't see them. Um, it's tempting to go and finish the job. Because I absolutely do not want Rome coming back. But... I really do think that they... Yeah, see, we can see that they can make it down here. That they'll recapture this. And I'm fine with that. Uh, I don't want to push any further out here. It's time to bring them over to Greece. Damn, did they actually disband another two of my units? Bunch of wankers. Alright, 
Now, well, finances don't seem too bad now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to just being able to leave this agent spam area here, that's for sure. I don't mind if they're disbanding my periocoy, though. Alright. So, looking at Apollonia, did you repair everything for me? You didn't? Yeah, fucking asshole. Maybe they actually looted it. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's go down there, take it back off them. I think I'll just occupy it. Because we got 50,000, that's enough to keep us going for quite a few turns. And we'll still get a little bit of money from winning this, I think, even if we just occupy it. Ready for orders. I think I've got a tiny little bit. Okay, it's not going to revolt for a little while. Um, what if we reduce taxes now? Mm, honestly, we still need the money. Got holdings in four provinces. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not being taxed. We're, okay, so that's considered our capital at the moment. Alright, so this guy here, it's time to disband. So we're going to give you... A bunch of these troops. And we're going to take away the Periakoi. So yeah, they were very helpful, but it's time for them to go. At your command. Get moving, you wretches. They'll be able to get back across I want to here next turn, and then we just full on we start fixing this up. This is gonna take them forever to fix up. It's time to leave here now, like I said. That's that's the end of this. Could always come back here again later. But I can't hold it. This is where we need to be. Now we only have a deficit of minus 2,500. And we'll see how we go once we capture all those other regions. Alright. I want him to go to Larissa. And you just chill. For the time being. It all just depends, I suppose, on... Well, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I, I need to get my spy out as well. So yeah, I really hope the Massilia come, comes down there and captures the settlement, because I do not want Rome coming back. Cassentia is probably going to fall. Don't care about Epidamnos. I just don't want any new factions coming back, so I hope... Samaria goes... Oh, they didn't, they didn't do anything during their turn. Good. And then they have to deal with the revolt over there. Not that they'll have any trouble with it. It's just distracting them, that's all. Good. And then they'll take Neopil Neopolis next turn, which I'm totally fine with. There's nothing there anyway. Let them build it back up, and when you come back over here, it'll actually be of some value again. Slums in Neapolis, no problem. Oh shit, we're at minus food. Fleet reporting. We hunger. 
They're not seemingly taking attrition. Um, why are we at negative food? What happened? Oh, uh, Epidemnos. Oh, whoops, I forgot to not tax it. Ugh, that'd be why. Alright, well, they're not strong enough to stop us from taking Larissa. They're not going to be able to bypass here to stop us. That's going to revolt. I don't want a revolt to occur. Ready for battle. Well. It's not the end of the world. You come over here. Let's take Larissa. Don't know if I'll loot it. Minus 4,000. Okay. Yeah, you come over here. So, oh man, you nearly made it on your own. And these guys here need to sail over to Apollonia. We can see here Brundisium. It's... It's a goner. Still need to tax it. Because it's technically the capital. At least for the next few turns. Make haste, men. Disembarking now. now we might need these guys to go and dish out justice over here. Gotta be careful. Because I just I don't want new factions arising. Let's get get him back. Her back, sorry. Don't want to misgender him. Hurt. We cannot do that. For death and Wouldn't let me bloody select my army. Mmm. Mm, it's. I'm not gonna loot it. Waiting for more orders. Only at minus two thousand now. It's not bad. So that's worth minus six public order, but it causes. It gives us nine food, but it also gives us nine hundred fifty. That gives us a lot of food. It loses food. All right, I'm gonna demolish this. If I, I'd love to just replace it with that, but. It is what it is. Alright. Just causes too much public order problems. And plus I'd make a lot of money out of uh, demolishing it. Next stop for them would be Athens. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. Who's going to end up with Pella. Whoever... Whoever ends up with it, I'm just going to take it right off them. So yeah, Brundisium. It was very useful for a while, but it has its usefulness has run dry. Let me check politics. Everything seems fine. All the characters are married. Yep. I'm sure, we're gonna get some deaths soon. We're almost done. Just gotta get back to Sparta and then, you know, just try to balance the budget a little bit. If I drop the taxes down, it's only two thousand eight hundred, and it's much more stabilizing for public order. So, there's a lot of instability, and there's also the conquest penalty. See, that also helps with public order. What's the... It's mostly Hellenic. Okay. This, also, this stuff here will repair itself over time. We've got a good amount of food here as well. What's going on in Athens? Should we loot that? Oh, uh, what's the slaves like here? So slaves is only causing, causing minus seven public order. It's not that bad. And when we grab here, because that's marble, that'll be good for public order because it provides a bonus faction wide. At your command. All good. Let's move on. So. Time to time to lower the taxes, keep things stable. Time to actually create a kingdom as opposed to burning everything to the ground playing things the hun style plus i still oh good on you guys thanks for that saves me having to do it see we are friends i don't need my money hopefully samaria will go and take it good save me having to worry about it that army there looks a little bit better also because i got two armies nearby we could just send two armies to go and smash them again that I want Epidemnos. I don't. But they are going to recruit a lot of troops. And I want to keep killing them. Mm, 
Alright, so they've given up on that. So who's going to win in this situation? Macedon or the Spartan Secessionists? Man, you wouldn't want to say Secessionists if you've got a lisp. Man, I stutter a little bit and I have trouble with it. It's bad enough for me. Don't need cavalry. Alright, so finances went a lot worse. It's fine. Everything seems okay. Although, yeah, we got plenty of family members, so it's okay. Okay, they no longer seem to be taking attrition. So over here, rebuild, rebuild that. And let's see, should we take Athens? Yeah, I think we'll go and take Athens. I'm also thinking of looting the settlement because we've still got to keep our our bank nice and strong, which it is. It will last us about 15 turns currently. But a lot of the stuff here needs to be demolished anyway. Jesus, I consumed a lot of food. All right, I'm not gonna keep the barracks here. And I'm not gonna keep that. We'll keep that for now. Keep that. Yep, that's fine, and that's fine too. Is it though? It does consume a lot of food. Minus six. So with that, it would be at minus two. But we do make a lot of food from here. Oh, we're not anymore. That was worth a hell of a lot of money to loot. Did we gain like 20,000 or something? No, it was about 10,000. We had 58,000, right. So one army should be enough to beat it. But what's going on over here? So they've got an army there, and I know they've got an army here. Yeah, so we got to be careful here. Pretty sure my forces are better than theirs. Well, let me just probe this. Yeah, so if one of my armies can easily beat one of theirs, two of my armies should technically be able to beat two of theirs, even if we're slightly damaged. If not, we're in trouble. So it raises to the ground. We'll make the most money out of that. Don't tax it, because we're just going to allow that to come back. Don't stay in the settlements. I don't think they'll launch the attack on us. I don't think they will. At your command. Oh, lovely. And we're back at Sparta. Don't loot this. We're home. We've made it home. And we have problems with food. Alright, well, we ha we're going to have to... What are we going to do about this? Well, once that's demolished, the food will be okay.
because that's really helping with public order. I don't want to demolish that. And I mean, we're kind of using Apollonia for a barracks. We don't really need it here, so best building something economic there. And this province, we could just not tax it for the turn. But next turn, it won't say we're we're in we're in food debt. Should be fine. I mean, unless we lose Larissa, which could actually happen. So let me see, that's four food gone, eight food gone. So it gives it plus seven. Six. So that's, that's a loss of four if we lost Larissa. Plus we'll just get it back anyway. All right, it should be fine. It should be fine. Don't need to make any more adjustments. Okay, let me just tidy up a little bit more, and then we're good to hand this back. Ready for battle. Sure, we're at negative two thousand three hundred. We could always increase the taxes to get down to minus one thousand three hundred, but that would cause public order problems. Maybe I'll just leave it there, because the public order is not horrendous with that. And it should be only minus 5 instability. No, it's minus 20. Yet. Oh, that's right, because I looted Athens. Of course. That's fine. So there's going to be a revolt here, but they're going to capture it. Alright, moving on. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to... Oh, where did this happen? This would have happened in Brundisium. So, uh, Samaria just decided to do nothing. Oh, wait, no, here's their turn. What are they going to do? Do some agent action, trying to soften us up a little bit, maybe? Okay, cool, we're safe. Seems fine though. Wait, are we still taxing Brundisium? Yep. But. Ah, oh shit. We're still gonna take attrition here. Unless we go into a region that actually has food. So, Macedon's back. Not for long. They took out the slaves there. Ready for battle. Yeah, we can get our forces over there to assist. Ready for battle. Uh, we're not at war with them, but... I'm going to go to war with them. Because we, we need the province. We'll be able to put an edict down. Settlement. We take this settlement! We hunger for battle. Ready for orders. Besieging settlement. There we go. That's not so bad. Ooh. If we raise it, it's only worth a thousand, but we need to pay for the uh, the slums removal. So I'm going to loot it again. Where it is. Okay. Is it going to revolt again? Yeah, oh yeah, it's going to revolt. Public order down here is bad. Alright, so. 
Let's go with food and money and I've already got a Temple of Poseidon. Let me have a look at the breakdown. So most of it's in instability. Let me drop the taxes a little bit. Okay, so Devastation's four. Yep. That'll go away over time. Events, don't know what that is. Uh, taxes, yeah. Slaves, not causing that much. Food, minus seven. What? Ah, uh, okay. Well, that'll go away next turn. I'm not taking attrition now. He probably took all the damage. Yep. Alright, I can make it to Nevisos. And we're in good shape. And there's also lead here, which is good for public order. From here, we can get to Apollonia, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So, wherever the revolt does occur, should be able to handle it. Could also put them in Larissa. And that'll actually prevent the revolt. Good. Uh, this needs to go. And all of that will repair on its own over time. And we can put in this for extra taxes. We hunger for battle. Let them cower like kennel dogs. We so the Sumerians are having some troubles, which is good for us. Epidemnos is... No, yeah, it's a piece of crap, whatever. Ready for battle. It's just about taking out their army more so than taking the city. Alright, I think, I think we're done. <laughs> I burnt most of, the, most of this area down. But I think we're good. At minus 2,500 a turn, with four full stack armies, right? Is it four full stacks? Yeah. You could barely maintain the upkeep on them, but if you increase the taxes, you can't. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Once you start fixing a few of these regions... Oh, we still got to build something here. Well, I'll let him figure it out. Once, once you build up a few of these regions... You've you, you got two options. You can either build up the economy or um, disband an army or two but everything is way more stable now than it was before when we were at Corsica you can continue the fight from here pretty easily our armies are extremely strong that's the end of this one guys so like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next disaster fuckers